Hey guys, so we're sitting here outside the 230 booth. We're gonna get an exclusive with Justin about the new armadillo tents. So looking at these armadillo tents, you can definitely tell that they are not a copy of anything else that's on the market. They are definitely different. So we're gonna find out straight from the source what is different. Cause you can tell they're, they're very different. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. So we're here with Justin in 230 booth. How you doing? Um, we're doing pretty good. We're pretty excited to be here. So um, we're here about the two new armadillos they have. If you look at them, you can actually tell that they're really different. So we're going to find out exactly what's different. And so Justin's going to tell us about that. Cool. So we didn't do one armadillo. We actually did two, as you can see. So the difference, as you see between the two, is one has an X frame. So it actually lifts up and up and the other is an aluminum frame that goes a little bit steeper in the angle. Function-wise, they're very close, but as you can see inside, they kind of look a little bit different. Oh yeah. Uh, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper, um, but if you look at each one, uh, I just come around the side and you can see the differences. So this has got the X frame at the back, and that's why it's called the X. So it actually comes up one way and then lifts up at the back, which allows a great ventilation window of about 12 inches at the back side of the tent, somewhere to put all your bits and pieces, but again, the ventilation, that crossflow stuff, that's awesome. Um, let's walk down and have a look at the aluminum shell, which is on the other side. So from the front, they kind of look kind of the same. Um, this one's got the orange mattress. It does have an insulated roof liner. Um, this one has the mattress and the roof liner are all yep. the same, so it gives that consistent look all the way through. Mm -hmm. Actually, some of your boys are actually able to stand up in there. Right? Yeah, and we were talking about real quick this one with the different liner. What what is different about that? Because that's very that doesn't look like any of the other ones. Well, no, actually, and I'm glad you asked because this is pretty special. It's the first time we've used automotive grade insulated roof liner, and it's a single piece that pops straight up into the roof. So it's not just stuck on. Um, and this one's stuck on. Um, right. This one's a new tech that we've got hold of that, that really looks like it's going to be good. So it keeps the tent a lot cooler or a lot more stable in the temperature. Um, but again, it's just that one piece that pops up in there. So That's it looks cool. neat and tidy as well. That's really cool. Yep. All right. And then this is your aluminum frame. Right? Yep. So this is the aluminum, uh, this is the armadillo. Um, it's called the A2. We call it the A2 because it's really two people. Um, we really did work hard at making these look and feel different to all the other side open and tents that were out there. Um, the window shape's different, the way they function's a little different, um, interior's a little different, obviously the LST is completely different. Um, we actually use a much thicker rebound foam, so we stick our rebound foam all the way through, so they're relatively comfortable um, in comparison to a lot of other tents that are out there on the market of a, a similar elk. Very nice. Yeah, and if you if you actually get a chance to look at these up close, you can tell they're very different. They're very, very different from what else is on the market. It's definitely not a copy by any means. Nope. So. nope. This is uh, uh, almost a year in development to get these ones to, to where they are now. And again, the function of them, touching and feeling, is really the only yeah. way. Looking on the internet and asking someone, hey, what do That's you think right. about this? They've probably only had one tent. Again, you're different because you live in yours, so yeah. you're a good one to ask on yep. what's good and what's not. Um, but a lot of other folks have only ever had one tent, so of course their one's the best one. That's so right. you really need to go to a store and touch and feel if you can. That's right, and that's yeah. that's that's part of that's part of why we always push you guys. Every show you go to, you need to touch, you need to feel everything, you need to look at it, you need to ask the people the questions about it because when you get to into that depth of the tents, and especially the tents and the awnings and the other products, you're definitely going to notice a difference. So. It's, it's interesting, you know, you ask you, Mr. Facebook, can you tell me how to spend 2,000 bucks or 3,000 bucks, you know? Get educated, make that's a right. choice. Yeah. That's right, and that's and that's the thing with us, you guys know us, we do a lot of research before we spend because it's a lot of money, it's a big investment. And because we do this full time, in 30 days, we do 30 days in a month. And so we get about a year's worth of use in a month. <laughs> True. And so, True. if the product is not still on our rig, it didn't work. 
So we've done a lot of research. So as you guys know, and even as a bunch of you have been coming into the campground where we are, after we were done with the show, you guys come and we got a crowd around our stuff looking and we let you touch and feel and see everything. And then we send you over here to talk to Justin and his crew because this is quality stuff, you know. Yes, it's a lot of money, but you spend money one time and you're good to go. So super excited about the 2030 products that we have. We're actually looking to add a couple more pieces. You guys are looking forward to those installs. But uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Showing us the two Thanks for giving us the constant feedback. Yeah. If we don't get feedback like that, as you're right, 30 days worth of feedback is a year for anything else. So we see stuff that, that we need to adapt and change so much faster, and we can bring that into our, our next lineup. So it's guys like you that uh, make our world a little bit easier because it, it speeds the process. Yeah, we love, we love testing the stuff whether it's on purpose or not. We're not we, we use it, we don't we don't abuse it, but we're not afraid to use it to its full potential. So yeah, super excited. So cool. thank you guys very much. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Come see them in 230 here at Expo West. They're actually gonna be at all the expos. So uh, find the one that's close to you. If you're in Utah, they actually have a storefront, Expedition Superstore. Definitely go by and check them out. Put your hands on the product, talk to them, figure out the differences for yourself. It's definitely worth the investment. This is the 230 shower enclosure that we like. These are also the roof cargo boxes that we like.